Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Pranay from India and in this problem ABCD is a rectangle and a circle is inscribed in it as shown in the picture. BC is 8 centimeters and BE is 6 centimeters. So this much is 6 and this much is 8 and we have to find length PQ. So this length we have to find. So since the side DC and AB both are tangent to the circle that means the diameter of the circle will be equal to 8 centimeters and radius of the circle will be half of the length BC that is the radius of the circle will be equal to 4 centimeters. So to find PQ we have to know the length QC and PC and both these are tangents from point C so both their lengths will be equal because from any point outside the circle you can draw only two tangents to the circle and both their lengths will be equal so if this is y this will also be equal to y and the length of tangent dq will be equal to the radius of the circle because all these angles are 90 degrees so this is actually a square and each side of square will be equal to the radius of the circle that is 4 centimeters and similarly this length will also be equal to 4 centimeter and length of this tangent if I call this point as point M AM will also be equal to 4 centimeters and if I talk about two tangents from point E that is EM and EP both these lengths will be equal and let us assume they are of length x centimeters right and now we can see that CEB is a right angle triangle that means we can peacefully use Pythagorean theorem over here so x plus y whole square will be equal to 8 square plus 6 square or you can say this will be equal to 64 plus 36 equal to 100 or you can say x plus y will be equal to 10 centimeters right and since ABCD is a rectangle that means DC is equal to AB or you can say 4 plus X plus 6 is equal to 4 plus Y and here this 4 will cancel this 4 and you can say y minus x is equal to 6 so we have got two equation equation number 1 and equation number 2 and if I solve these two equations I will get y is equal to 8 centimeters and x is equal to 2 centimeters right so we have got the value of y which is equal to 8 centimeters and we have got the value of x which is equal to 2 centimeters okay so now if I talk about OQCP quadrilateral OQCP is actually a kite where OQ is equal to OP and QC is equal to PC and here PQ is one of the diagonals of the kite and if I draw another diagonal it will be something like this where both the triangles OPC and triangle OQC are right angle triangles this is right angle at P and this is right angle at Q so I can easily find the value of OC OC square will actually be equal to 8 square plus 4 square and this will be equal to 64 plus 16 that is 80 or you can say OC is equal to 4 square root of 5 so this is the length of OC and the area of the kite is given as 1 by 2 multiplied by the product of both the diagonals that is multiplied by OC multiplied by PQ and this will also be equal to the sum of the areas of both these right angle triangles triangle OCP and triangle OQC and both of them are congruent triangles so this will be equal to 2 times half of base multiplied by height so base is 8 centimeters and height is 4 centimeters so this half will cancel this half and value of PQ can be written as 8 multiplied by 8 64 divided by OC and OC is equal to 4 root 5 so this will be equal to 16 divided by root 5 so length of PQ is actually equal to 16 divided by root 5 centimeters. So this was a simple problem with very simple solution. So that's all for this video and thank you Mr. Pranip for sending this problem. So for many more interesting problems keep watching MathsMath, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.